Welcome back. The walleye fishing opener is tomorrow, which means fishing enthusiasts all across Wisconsin will be gearing up to land that trophy fish. John Springer, fishing supervisor from the Gander Mountain in Baraboo, joins us to give us some advice. And you just mentioned it's not just walleye opener tomorrow, so a lot of different fish. Correct, yeah. It's going to be bass opener um, as well as northern pike and muskie for inland lakes. Okay. Um, around by us, the river. The walleye, you can fish them all year round, so that's why it's a big deal now is for people in Minnesota and for in Wisconsin, you can fish all the inland lakes um, for the walleye. So I know people love walleye because it's good eating. Correct. If they want to go somewhere around here, where is the best couple, you don't have to give your secrets away, but the best <laughs> spots to go walleye fishing? Well, around here, the Wisconsin River is pretty primary okay. um, for a lot of our customer base. Um, we recommend anywhere between Sauk and, and the Dells is pretty good. Um, we target them. Is there a good time of day to go fishing early and late? Well, if you're fishing early, the fish are going to be a lot deeper. Okay. Um, they're going to try and stay in the darker water, a little murkier. Um, also, if you're going at night, that is when they're going to come up in the shallows. So there's a few baits you can use to target um, during the late time hours as well. So let's talk about that. You brought a lot of them, and so these, some of these are better for the different depths. Is that what you're saying? Correct. So what would you say? Let's say first, if you're going out in the morning, what would you recommend? Well, if you're going early morning, you're going to want to use something weighted like the jig heads. Okay. Um, and then you're going to trailer it with some kind of plastic, either um, a grub-style plastic or a minnow bait fish presentation. Um, and what that's going to do is it's going to get your bait to the bottom a lot quicker. Uh -huh. um, and then we have like the crankbait styles, which also go pretty deep as well. What does um, crank mean? So it's going to be just a steady retrieve. Oh. And it's going to do a swimming action exactly like Versus a Versus dropping it in there and waiting. Correct. Yep. And can that tactic work to catch walleye or you want to do more of the movement? Um, either or. With, okay. with live bait, it's really good when you're keeping it stationary. You can move it very settle across the bottom. Um, that's where they're going to be sitting in the rock areas on the bottom. And what if you go at night where it's shallow? What would you use in that? situation. Um, in that situation I would use something like this is called the jerk bait. Um, it's just a jerking action. Imitates a dying fish. They, okay. they don't go as deep as some of the other crankbaits. Um, this model is gonna definitely give you more versatility in the shallow water than something that goes deeper. And maybe people have thought about live bait. So these are all obviously artificial. Artificial. Yes. And you said you like that route. Yeah, yep. Um, you know on the river you do lose a lot of baits but you can use these over and over again where live bait you're going to have to reuse, buy, throw away when they die. Um, so you can keep a lot of this stuff longer. Are you going out tomorrow or do you have to work? Um, well, I do have off tomorrow. I have my sister's birthday. So. Oh, okay. Yeah. But... You probably get a lot of fishing in, I would assume. Oh, yeah. Most I, I was telling, I have one quick story. I caught a 34-inch northern on a four-pound test. I'm really proud of that. That's impressive. Holding it up, it was almost as big as me. So there's my fishing story. Thanks so much for coming in. Appreciate it. And all of you fishermen and women out there, I hope you have fun this weekend.